Imagine a scenario in which a dozen hypersonic missiles streak toward a United States Navy carrier strike group. Our ultimate shield, the Aegis Combat System, was never designed to face a saturation attack of this magnitude. Can this technological marvel truly adapt and evolve to defeat an unprecedented hypersonic assault? Or are we confronting a defensive gap that could change naval warfare forever? The hypersonic arms race is accelerating, creating a frightening new reality for global security. While the Aegis system remains a formidable defense against current threats, it now faces a challenge unlike any before. A coordinated barrage of 12 incoming hypersonic missiles. We examine the monumental technical hurdles Aegis must overcome and the radical upgrades required if the system is to stand a chance against this next generation threat. What if the world's most advanced missile defense system were rendered obsolete overnight? The era of hypersonic weapons has arrived, bringing with it the chilling prospect of a dozen missiles striking their targets almost simultaneously. We delve into the harsh reality of hypersonic saturation attacks and pose a critical question. Can Aegis truly evolve fast enough to protect us from a threat that is redefining the very speed of warfare? Beyond the calm-looking horizon, a new danger now lurks in the skies. Hypersonic weapons introduce a different kind of terror. They are extremely difficult to detect travel at extraordinary speeds, and can maneuver to evade conventional defense systems. This is the new reality of modern warfare, where warning times shrink dramatically and the margin for reaction becomes dangerously narrow. Speeds exceeding Mach 5 are not merely statistics. They are decisive factors that fundamentally alter calculations of defense and deterrence. Globally, Hypersonic weapons development has entered an early operational phase. Russia has introduced the Kinjal missile, claimed to be capable of penetrating modern air defense systems through a combination of speed and unpredictable trajectories. China, with its DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle, has signaled its ambition to challenge U.S. military dominance in the Indo-Pacific region. Meanwhile, the United States itself is accelerating multiple hypersonic programs, both offensive and defensive, although many remain in advanced testing and development stages. The threat grows even more complex when the concept of a saturation attack is considered. In this scenario, defenses are not confronted with one or two missiles, but with simultaneous waves designed to overwhelm sensors, command systems, and interceptors. The figure of 12 missiles is often cited as a critical threshold because at this point, the detection and response capacity of modern defense systems is pushed to its limits. The challenge is no longer simply about shooting down each target, but about managing time, priorities, and resources within seconds, a test that places systems like Aegis at the very edge of their capabilities. Amid these rising threats, the Aegis combat system is still regarded as one of the most advanced naval shields ever developed. Built around high-power radar and an integrated command and control network, Aegis is designed to detect, track, and neutralize a wide range of air and missile threats within a single unified architecture. It is supported by a family of interceptors, such as the SM-3 for ballistic missile defense, and the more versatile SM-6, capable of engaging aircraft, cruise missiles, and certain targets in their terminal phase. Aegis's strength lies in its proven ability to counter conventional threats that have been understood for decades. Ballistic missiles with relatively predictable trajectories, as well as slower flying cruise missiles, 
give Aegis radar systems the opportunity to maintain stable tracking and provide operators with decision-making time. In numerous tests and real-world operations, the combination of sensors, interceptors, and command systems has demonstrated effectiveness, making Aegis the backbone of naval defense for the United States and its allies. However, true hypersonic threats expose fundamental limits in this design. Extreme speeds beyond Mach 5 drastically compress reaction times, while maneuverability during the glide phase makes target trajectories highly unpredictable. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles, hypersonic vehicles do not follow rigid paths, nor do they move slowly like cruise missiles. As a result, radars must work far harder to maintain continuous tracking. Command systems are forced to process data almost instantaneously, and interceptors face the challenge of matching both the speed and agility of their targets. It is here that Aegis, despite its strength, reveals that it was not fully prepared for a battle space shaped by the hypersonic era. Recognizing these limitations, the U.S. Navy now faces an urgent need to push Aegis to its next stage of evolution. The challenge is not merely incremental improvement, but achieving a technological leap that allows the system to survive in a hypersonic battle space. The primary focus centers on sensors, interceptors, and how the system makes decisions within seconds. On the sensor side, future demands exceed the capabilities of legacy radars, such as SPY-1, and even push the limits of the modern SPY-6. Hypersonic threats require detection systems capable of sustaining tracking of extremely fast, low-altitude maneuvering targets. This means higher resolution, much faster data refresh rates, and cross-platform sensor integration from ships, satellites, and airborne platforms to build a real-time, continuous threat picture.